bail. Happy bending. Making some uh, AR mag carriers. So I got three flags to do. So I'm going to heat them up in my oven. They're going to heat about 370, 380, and then we're going to go ahead and vacuum them, and I'm going to show you those as well. Just in case you didn't see the um, the trick what to do with uh, with these guys, is I cut uh, mesh steel plates, right, and uh, I cut it to the size of whatever I'm doing so it sits on it, so that way it lifts it off, and it gives each one of these uh, air channels a way to get to the vac. So a lot of people do it. That's what I do. You can also carve holes in the back of them. We got 350 degrees right now on that flag print. So once that pops out, we will be all set. I'm gonna get my frame. It's the right one. I'll set this here, and then I got the air to cool it quicker. So a couple more seconds. That's gonna come right out. Yeah, we're good right there. Of course, I only have one glove on. I'll place that. Beauteous. And it actually looks pretty good. So nice and uh, solid. Look at that. It's damn good. All right. And then it looks not bad. I like it. I'd buy it. Cool. Second one is already in the oven. And then uh, we got to do three of those, cut them out. And uh, the PX4 is still in the press. I'll probably press all three of these before uh, we take it out. So. Sure, there's no gunk on there and if I actually haven't mentioned it before these grilling gloves are absolutely phenomenal so they heat up to or they they um, keep you safe up to like 1800 degrees uh, they're absolutely phenomenal and believe it or not they're like $18 on Amazon I could uh, put the um, link in the description if you'd like for these these things are absolutely awesome they're not too thick and they allow you to um, to handle the hot material pretty well so yeah they work good I like them I recommend them Check the oven here. We're at 350 degrees, so we only have pretty much 10 more seconds before it's gonna be up to temperature. There it is, I was looking for this. So, once that comes out, you go ahead and press it. I think I'm gonna do a couple knives today too, get going on those. Maybe I'll do another video on that. We'll see. All right. And if you're wondering how I get them out, I'll show you how I do exactly that. You might laugh, but it works. This is the only way I could think of. So I literally take it, and you hit the edge of the Kydex. And then, there you go. And it's not warped, because you have to make sure it's completely cooled before you do that. So there's number two. And we are going to put number three in the oven. I do have a, uh, here it is right here, but not heat press, but I don't use it much. Still dialing it in on the, uh, the prints because they're, they're completely different. But here's the next one we just did. Looks pretty good. I like it. Hell yeah, brother. Cool. 
this to the side. Clean all the crap. All right. And then as soon as this one's ready, I'm turning the camera back on. Oh, so I got to show you while we're here. I have a new addition to the shop. So we just picked it up, got it off uh, Facebook Marketplace. It's uh, she's old, but she's pretty. She's gonna clean up nice. I gotta do a couple things on it, but came with a couple sets of balls. These uh, these sticks are my late father's. I got another one over there, but we are gonna be having fun. I got the display cases being set up with all my cars. I have thousands of Mopar cars. I got the wood stove going with apparently a piece of wood on top. I'll take that off. But uh, yeah. So, got the TV for the kiddos when they're here, but wood stove, and then this place is just a mess right now until I could actually, look at this, still unpacking, still moving stuff, should be fun, but, let's see where we're at over here, and I just did a huge order, so I got molds laying everywhere, right, let's see where we're at, 301. Okay, it's a little bit longer and it'll be all set. So, prop you back up here. And we'll see that in a second. All right, again, we are at 350. So, it'll be a couple more seconds to, uh, to get this out of the oven and throw it down. Friday and there we go. All right, cool. That is all set. And then when I'm done, make sure you cover your hole. Only oh, because I don't want I don't have an inline filter, so I keep this covered at all all times. All right, all right, moving on to uh, trimming. All right, we'll take a peek on this. So what I'm gonna do on these is I'm literally right here, and then I'll cut it to the size that I want. So I'll have some fun. All right, I don't know if you noticed, I cut them two different ways. You can see I rounded the edges on these guys, and on this one, I actually cut it how it's gonna be formed at the very end. Um, 
you could do this part at any time. This part doesn't really matter as well because you're going to sand it and shave it. But I'll do the final trim. Since I don't have a CNC, I'll do the final trim after I uh, bend it so that way it's, it's even. So right now we're going to go ahead and just drill the holes and then uh, I'll go ahead and uh, bend it. All right. Folding, you want to get yourself everything you need. So we need the magazine. Okay. We need our MRDs, and we need three clamps, which I didn't grab. So, grab those. Here we go. I'm just going to verify that these are lining up. Yep. Okay. So again, what I do, you put in the MRD, how exactly it's going to be, okay. hold it, and then you're going to heat this side, and then you're going to do one pass on this side, but you're going to keep continuing this side, because you don't want to heat up this. So, got that hot, and keep it moving. You want it just enough to bend. on there set it up right on that add that and then I squeeze this end so you get that nice rib and if you want you could throw it in your sight channel jig to keep that form but that's nice All right. there's one Cool. One of those trays. I'm going to drill out the MRDs. So I'm going to use the same bit that I used for my retention, which is 7.30 seconds. So I will drill out the MRD. Keep the clamps in place because the kydex is actually what holds it. Right. 
Now time to get the hardware and throw it together. Personally, use half inch and half inch. So, all right. Now we just gotta figure out what we wanna do in the front. We'll probably have flags in the front. So, we'll go ahead. Oop, wrong one. little bit of special juice permatex red thread locker been using it for years holds it but still allows you to get it out if need be Bada bing. This screw and nut combination is overkill, but I'll tell you what, this MRD will never come out. And yeah, I usually have a electric drill to throw these in. I just don't know where I put it. I'm working on working on the garage, hanging up some stuff, some signs and snap-on clocks and car clocks and such. I'll show you that in a second. Like I said, in addition to the pool table. So Yeah, I've got my ladies. Snap on. Then, let's see here. Oh, trophies hung up. Got my little car corner over here with more trophies. And, I can't wait to clean this mess up, but dartboard and my stairwell. My gunsmithing degree, first dollar I ever made, and then a whole bunch of signs. But, I'm gonna be adding more. And I just added this guy, if you couldn't tell. I'm a Mopar fan. So, bam, a whole bunch of more Plymouths. You got We the People, Constitution, some stuff over here, more. So, yeah, quite a bit of stuff going on. So, I'm just gonna shut that off for now. And eventually, you'll see why I'm a Mopar freak. But, yeah, I gotta clean all this up. Anyway, these are all set. Time for trim, sand, and then assemble.
All right, these are sanded and ready to go. So the only thing we have left to do is clean them. You got your rem oil, or you can use Ballastol. Stuff is great as well. So, but I like my rem oil. I'm partial to it. So I'll just do a quick over and then spray the inside. Okay. And then always a microfiber. Inside and out. Inside and out. Also, don't forget the retention screw for the MRDs. So I'm going to get those, and then I'll get the hardware we're doing for this, too. Guys, we're running them on a uh, Molly bel um, belly belt. So we're going to be doing the uh, tech locks. So I got these from Mr. Steve Andrews at Knife Kits Holster Smith. I think they're like nine bucks a piece unless you buy a shitload at the same time so we got those three and then i'm gonna go grab the hardware to throw it in Hardware and here we go. These are, um, oh god, seven sixteenths screws, I believe, with a three sixteenths nut, and then quarter inch this guy. I don't know if you guys have noticed. Wow, these ones are tight. Okay. It's a lot easier. So if you mount it like this, you got to get under your belt and flick that. So it's much easier if you mount them upside down. These ones, I'm not going to do any uh, Loctite on because he can put them any which way he wants. And a rule of thumb for assembling anything, doesn't have to be just holsters, is get them all started first, then tighten. And finished product. I could find my drill to put these together. I have four drills. One with each drill bit. So two with drill bits, one with the uh, deburring tool, and then one with the Phillips. So I don't have to do these by hand. Just 
confuse myself for a second. Apparently I'm testing gravity today. All right, there is all three ready to rock. Oh, nope, my lied. I say don't forget those set screws then I can get them. Good teacher, good teacher. And just a little. All right, there we go. Now we are 100%. So, yeah, it's good and tight. There we go, right there. Perfect. Again. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe, share it with your friends, and let me know what else you'd like to see. Bye, y'all. Happy bending. <laughs>